Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve the battle eye issue with LSPDFR. If you don't know what battle eye is, it is a anti-cheat system that Rockstar implemented in their GTA 5 update from the other day. And this is an anti-cheat system for GTA Online. You can see all of the news articles here about it. Now, if you have your LSPDFR backed up and that's not the issue, the issue is battle eye. So if you have your LSPDFR backed up and you're like, why is it not starting? Why is why can I not play LSPDFR? It's because of this battle eye right here. Now, what you're going to do is if you start up, I can't show it to you because I already did it. If you try to go start up um, LSPDFR, it's battle eye is going to pop up and say install or cancel. You're going to click install. You're going to install it because it's required to have it installed to to play GTA now. It's unfortunate, but you have to install it. And um, unfortunately, if I can find a screenshot of it somewhere, I'll post it on the video here. But um, after you install it and you try to go play LSPDFR, it's going to show that Dinput 8.dll is being blocked. If you don't know what Dinput 8.dll is, if you go to your Steam, and then right click on GTA 5, manage, browse local files, and open up your GTA 5 main directory. This is where all of your files are for Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, you can see actually BattleEye now has its own file here. And that's fine. If you have it, that's cool. What's happening is BattleEye is uh, looking at dinput 8.dll and it's blocking that application extension. Um, and we can't have that. You got to have dinput 8.dll to play LSPDFR. So, the easiest way to fix this is to open up your Rockstar Games launcher. All right, so once you are into your Rockstar Games launcher, you're going to go up here to settings, and right here, Battle Eye. You're going to disable it. It should be enabled for you. Just disable it. Once you disable it, you can close out of Rockstar Games launcher. Once you close out of the Rockstar Games launcher, you can open up LSPDFR as usual, and I'm going to show you right here, it should work. I'm not gonna launch the game entirely, but you'll see you won't have the issue anymore um, with BattleEye. So it's gonna do connecting to Rockstar Games services through the Rockstar Games launcher, and that's what it's doing right now, and then it should start up. We all know LSPDFR takes a moment to start up. <laughs> but there you go. Hooking game instance. Enjoy. And bam, shazam, we are in. The game is starting as usual. I can go ahead and close it here. And there you have it. That's the fix for Battle Eye interrupting your LSPDFR. Now, I don't know for sure if this will be resolved in the future um, where you can enable battle eye and have it but it's for GTA online and LSPDFR is a single player mod so we shouldn't have to have battle eye enabled to play it so um i don't again i don't know um if script hook will update one day to support battle eye or if rage plugin hook will update to support it i don't know but that's the workaround right now, and it should work for you. Now, if you're having trouble playing LSPDFR because of the actual update itself, that's because you probably didn't back up your GTA 5 main directory with all of your LSPDFR mods. Um, that's another video. I have it posted here on my channel on how to do that, and it's linked in the description down below. Feel free to check it out. I highly recommend backing up your GTA 5 main directory and LSPDFR uh, main directory uh, and all of that. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Remember, if you subscribe, you will be entered in the GTA 6 giveaway if I reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. I will see you guys next time. Take care.